half of all relapses come from one cause. This is the best scientifically studied. The best model for understanding craving is environmental cueing. It's deadly. The second is withdrawal from the drug itself. Is there anyone in this room who's never seen anybody go through withdrawal? Has, have ever, has have you ever seen it? Boy, is it ugly. Is it ugly? I mean, you see these kids coming in with a big benzo habit and their blood pressure sky high and they're shaking and jerking and sweating. See people coming in, clutching their belly, coming off opiates. Shame on us. Why do we let that happen? Why are we letting people suffer? It's completely preventable. There are no drugs we can't stop withdrawal for. No one needs to go through withdrawal ever, even for 10 minutes. Why do we let these kids suffer? What are we doing here? They don't believe help's gonna help. They're angry and they're frightened. We see people coming in who meet all diagnostic criteria for post-traumatic stress disorder. The trauma was unmedicated withdrawal. And they can't even approach withdrawal without getting terrified. I got an email from one of my patients last night who's coming off of benzos. He's tapering very slowly off of phenobarbital and he said his anxiety has gone up a whole level because he's anticipating the next taper. In anticipation of how he thinks he might feel, he's totally anxious and freaked out. Multiply that by a thousand. And you see what we're creating in the streets of Butte County now, today, at this moment, there are literally dozens, if not hundreds of people suffering. They can't sleep, they're in pain, they can't control their bowels, they can't control their bladders, they're in panic, they hurt. We can prevent that readily. Why aren't we doing that? Shame on us, it's not okay. And we've just got to do better because we're hurting people. It's worse than that. There's a phenomenon called kindling. Well studied, really. Every time you go through withdrawal, you sensitize your nervous system, the effect of which is the next withdrawal will be worse. By withholding humane treatment, we bias negatively against the disease. People who go cold turkey are left with much higher craving, much higher symptom scores. The interval between relapse is much foreshortened. Shame on us for letting this happen. We have to address this. It's a national epidemic right now.